The 1971 Elizabeth II New One Penny from United Kingdom is a notable coin. Its metal composition consists of bronze and it has a diameter of 20.32 mm and weight of 3.56 grams. This particular coin was part of first issue of decimal pennies replacing the old predecimal penny, which was much larger in size. The 1971 New One Penny has a substantial mintage of over 1.5 billion. In terms of value, circulated coins generally hold minimal value above face value due to their high mintage and commonality. However, in high mint state grades, for example MS65 and higher, the value can increase with such specimens fetching around $1 to $3. On platforms like eBay, prices for circulated examples can range from a few cents to a dollar, while uncirculated or high-grade coins can be listed for a few dollars. Next, the 2001 20 pence coin from United Kingdom is a part of decimal coinage system. This coin is made of copper and nickel alloy consisting of 84% copper and 16% nickel. Giving it a distinctive appearance, it has a diameter of 21.4 mm and weighs 5 grams. The coin features a collateral curved heptagon shape with 7 sides, a design element that makes it easily distinguishable. On the obverse, the coin displays the third portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse features a crown Tudor rose, the emblem that symbolizes England. The mintage for 2001 20 pence was substantial, making it a common coin. In terms of value, circulated examples of 2001 20 pence typically hold their face value of, of 20 pence. The 1983 Elizabeth II one pound coin from United Kingdom with its high mintage and commonality generally holds modest value in the collector's market. In US dollars, circulated condition coins typically hold minimal value above their face value, usually selling for about $1 to $2. Coins in uncirculated or high mint state grades, MS65 or higher, can be valued higher, often ranging from $2 to $6, depending on their quality and appeal to collectors. On eBay and similar online marketplace, circulated examples generally sell for around their face value or slightly above while high-grade uncirculated examples can fetch higher prices, often several dollars. Well-preserved coins with clear details and minimal marks are particularly sought after. Additionally, coins with any minting errors or special variants can be worth more to collectors. The 2007 two pence coin from United Kingdom. This coin is made of copper plated steel, a change from earlier bronze composition. It has a diameter of 25.9 mm and weight of 7.12 grams. A worth of the coin features four portraits of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse features the badge of Prince of Wales. The mintage for 2007. 2 pence was high with approximately 240 million coins produced for circulation making it a common coin. In terms of value, circulated examples of 2007 2 pence typically hold their face value of 2 pence. However, coins in uncirculated high mint state grades can be valued slightly higher often ranging from 50 cents to $1.50 in US dollars. The 1997 Elizabeth II 50 pence coin from United Kingdom is a part of decimal coinage system. This coin is composed of copper and nickel consisting of 75% copper, 25% nickel. It has a diameter of 27.3 mm and weight of 8 grams and a thickness of 1.78 mm with equilateral curved heptagon shape, making it Easily recognizable, the obverse of the coin features the third portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse, designed by Christopher Ironside, depicts a seated Britannia besides a lion holding a trident and olive branch with the denomination 50 pence below. The mintage for 1997 50 pence coin was significant. 
This high mintage makes it a common coin in terms of value. Circulated examples of 1997 50 pence typically hold their face value of 50 pence. However, coins in uncirculated high mint state grades can be valued higher, often ranging from $1 to $3. Well preserved coins with clear details and minimal marks are particularly sought after. The 2009 Elizabeth II one penny coin features four portrait of Queen Elizabeth II. This portrait was introduced in 1998. The reverse of the coin designed by Matthew Dent is a part of series that includes a segment of royal shield. The coin is made of copper plated steel with a diameter of 20.3 millimeters and weight of 3.56 grams. The 2009 one penny had a mintage of over 283 million coins, which makes it relatively common. In terms of value, circulated examples of 2009 one penny typically hold their face value of one penny. Coins in uncirculated or high mint state grades can fetch a bit more, usually in the range of 50 cents to one dollar. And the last issue, 2001 Australian five cent coin, this coin is made of copper nickel alloy consisting of 75% copper and 25% nickel. It has a diameter of 19.41 millimeters and weighs just 2.83 grams. The reverse of the coin features the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II. The reverse design created by Stuart Dowlin depicts an image of Yechidna, an iconic Australian animal. In terms of value, circulated examples of 2001 Australian 5 cent coin typically hold their face value. Coins in uncirculated or high mint state grades can be valued higher, often ranging from $1 to $2. High graded uncirculated examples can be listed for a few dollars. Which one caught your eye? Comment below, subscribe for more numismatic insights, and like and share if you enjoyed the journey through these fascinating pieces of history. God's willing, see you in the next episode.